Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my Kaleido. So in this video, I'm going to take you shopping at the S Light bookstore in Taipei, Taiwan. We're going to go check out the stationery section. And if you're not familiar with S Light, it's a bookstore that carries not only books, but also high-end stationery products from all over the world. I saw a lot of European products as well as Japanese products there, and they had some really cool stuff. I also like their displays and their layout and I just thought it was very aesthetically pleasing. So this is a really short video, but I hope you enjoy shopping with me at S-Lite. So this S-Lite is right near Taipei 101 and the W Hotel, and there's multiple floors, some have furniture, but let's go check out the floor with the stationery. I noticed right away that there were a lot of products from Japan here. Japan makes amazing stationery products. I really like this yellow Fueki-kun glue and it's a non-toxic glue that's made of cornstarch for kids. Funny thing is, I don't think I ever saw this in Japan or maybe I just didn't notice it. Now these look like just ordinary boxes but they're so thick and they just felt so luxurious i think this would be great to store your stickers in or just little stationary supplies i love this little section with the planters all oh, the planters were so adorable i especially love that little llama one and then there is another planter that was a vw bug which i thought was so adorable they also had some Instax cameras here and Instax film in all kinds of cute designs. And then over here, these little lights I think are by a little lovely company and they're Dutch designers. So I've seen these on Instagram and I actually have a cloud light by them. It's really cute. And you can find replicas of these um, at places like Artbox, but the ones in this store, I'm pretty sure are genuine. They had a really nice selection of journals and notebooks here. So I think that this would be a really great place to get a special gift for somebody who loves stationery. I noticed that a lot of these products had English writing on them, even though we're in Taiwan. So I think that most of these are probably American or European products. This miniature dollhouse furniture and also these nano blocks around the corner have Japan written all over them. Have you guys heard of the brand Kikerland? They make a lot of cute novelty products and they had some of them here. Here are some crazy bookmarks. Do you guys still use bookmarks in your paperback books or have you all moved to Kindle? I read all my books on Kindle now. This section has some cute Japanese coin purses and then up on the wall there are these socks that you can wear with your flip-flops or zori because they have a little cutout for your toe. Now these are just simple plastic zipper pouches that you can put in your binder but for some reason they felt like they were really nice quality and I really like the neon colors. Now this was kind of random. I don't really know what this is. I think it's a vegetable brush because that's what the one on the table is. And I really wanted this, but I didn't really know what it was and it was also kind of expensive. I love the design of this art lab. That tablecloth looks like it's paint falling off of the table and this was my favorite part of the store. I love this colored pencil wall. It's just so aesthetically pleasing and beautiful. I like how in Asia you can readily buy a single color of color pencil because a lot of times you'll use up your favorite color and you need to replace it. So instead of buying a whole new set, it's nice to be able to buy one here.
These Japanese markers and pens are so yummy. I think that this spot where you can test out the different pencils is just heaven for anybody who likes to draw in color. I know that my daughter Sienna would have loved to come here. It's so nice to be able to test out the hardness or softness of the pencils and see how smoothly they write before you purchase them. So I think that any good stationery store or art store should have a spot like this. And I also like this little tin and case where the pencils are stored. Almost all the things that I wanted in this store were Japanese, so I didn't buy them because I had planned on going to Japan soon after this trip and I figured I could just buy everything there. If you want to see more stationery videos, check out this playlist right here. And if you want to see what I did in Taiwan, then make sure to watch this playlist. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!